Take a culture where the people have a special relationship with death, a closeness, a comfortableness. Add to that a storytelling tradition that is rife with spirits, demons, and monsters. And add to that a rugged landscape that is strewn with ancient dolmens and tumuli, which were once believed to be portals to the other world. And yeah, it's no wonder Irish filmmakers have long been drawn to the horror genre. Over the past few years, a new generation of Irish horror filmmakers has emerged, one that draws inspiration from Irish mythology and folklore while simultaneously pushing the genre in exciting new directions. Indeed, four of the ten films on this list list of the 10 best Irish horror films came out in 2020 or later. Let's dive in. 10. Bring Out the Fear 2021. The opening premise of the Richard Waters directed Bring Out the Fear is simple enough. A couple whose relationship is on the rocks decide to go for one final walk together in the woods near Wicklow, but inevitably things take a Blair Witch-esque, the Endless-esque turn. The falling out of lovebirds, Rosie and Dan, discover that their favorite hiking spot has some new twists and turns. No matter which direction they walk in, they end up back in the middle of the forest. Our protagonists have been thrown for a loop literally. Temporal distortions, strange symbols. Is it all in their imaginations, or is there, as there so often is in Irish horror films, something wicked in the woods? To quote film critic Cat Hughes, writing for The Hollywood News, a couple getting lost in the woods isn't a new story to the world of horror, and yet somehow writer and director Richard Waters has managed to create a film that feels unlike its peers. Bring Out the Fear has a great aesthetic, generates a genuine foreboding atmosphere, and has two excellent central performances. End quote. Nine. Mandrake, 2022. Just like the previous entry on this list, director Lynn Davison's debut feature avoids falling into the narrative and stylistic traps of your typical There's Something Witchy in the Woods film. Mandrake follows probation officer Kathy as she visits the just-released-from-prison Bloody Mary Laidlaw, who infamously murdered her husband decades earlier. When two local children go missing near Mary's property, the ex-con, whom many in their small Irish village already suspected of being a witch, becomes suspect numero uno. And yes, the Mandrake root and all the folkloric baggage that comes with it will have a role to play before the film's end. Unlike traditional fairy tale and witchcraft inspired movies, which go heavy on the autumnal hues and ethereal tone, as film critic Cat Hughes explains, Mandrake shirks those conventions in favor of a more stark and realistic appearance. Hughes continues, by doing this, it pulls the viewer along with Kathy into this dangerous branch of paganism. End quote. Source The Hollywood News. 8. The Hollow, 2015. It's your classic tale of an Englishman who moves with his family to the remote Irish wilderness only to discover that the area is inhabited by a race of, quote, fairies, banshees, and baby stealers known as the Hollow. Speaking of baby stealers, did I mention that the Englishman Adam and his wife Claire have a baby? Yep, well, one night, something smashes through the baby's bedroom window. Was it the work of the unabashedly unwelcoming locals, a wayward bird, or something more sinister? More nocturnal disturbances follow, and Adam, a conservationist, begins to suspect that a mysterious fungus he found in the forest is connected to the supernatural goings-on. Spoiler alert, Adam gets infected by the fungus and grotesqueries ensue. To quote critic Simon Abrams, these scare scenes aren't just competent, they're consummately disgusting and appreciably creepy too. End quote. Source, RogerEbert.com. 7. The Canal, 2014. It's your classic tale of an Englishman who moves with his family to a spooky corner of Dublin only to discover that the area is inhabited by vengeful spirits. Yes, there are formulas to these things. Once again, we have a boringly named protagonist, David, who works in a profession, film archivist, that helps drive the plot forward. But the canal is more than just the hollow in a city. There is a lot going on here. In addition to being a horror film, the canal is a supernatural urban murder mystery. Think Gone Girl with ghosts, which also sees our protagonist cracking a cold case from the early 1900s. That's where his archivist skills come into play. To quote film critic Stephen Dalton, the canal is, quote, a stylish and scary mashup of various psycho-horror traditions, end quote, which swerves, quote, between different genres from old-school ghost story to found footage to visceral body horror, end quote. Source, THR. 6. Let Us Pray. 2014. While set in Scotland, Let Us Pray is an Irish-British production which was directed by Irish filmmaker and TV series creator Brian O'Malley, and which stars the Dublin-born Liam Cunningham of Game of Thrones fame. Caveats and clarifications out of the way, the film takes place in a police station in a remote Scottish town. An unnamed, unknown visitor, played by Cunningham, shows up with a list of names and some biblical-sounding banter. He also happens to have the fingerprints of a guy who was declared dead two decades earlier. Things get even weirder as the police officers start experiencing flashbacks of their past mistakes 
misdeeds. Skeletons are literally and figuratively exhumed from closets, and this being a horror film, the bodies begin piling up. To quote from film critic Tara Brady's review of Let Us Pray, the blood work is ketchup-y, the performances are big, the darkness never ends, end quote. Source, The Irish Times. 5. You Are Not My Mother, 2021 Char is your typical Catholic high school student in the outskirts of Dublin who, as a baby, was taken into the woods by her grandmother and placed screaming inside of a ring of fire. You've heard of hot yoga, right? This was sort of like a hot baptism, but I digress. In the present day, Char's chronically depressed, mostly bedridden mother Angela goes missing, only to return soon after with a vastly different personality. Char's aforementioned grandmother Rita suspects a changeling is afoot. Turns out Char's mother was not the first changeling in the family. Writing for the New York Times, film critic Jeanette Katsoulis called you Are Not My Mother, quote, a skin-crawling merger of Irish folklore and family secrets, end quote, saluting first-time director Kate Dolan for her, quote, imaginative and spooky debut. 4. Boys From County Hell 2020. In addition to claiming the number four spot on this list, Boys from County Hell has the distinction of being the only film on this list to also feature on my list of the top 10 live action Irish mythology movies, which you can find over at irishmyths.com. An innovative horror comedy, the film follows a construction crew as they accidentally destroy an ancient cairn, inadvertently awakening our talk, the infamous vampire, or Neve Merv, Walking Dead from Irish legend. As I explained in my book Irish Monsters in Your Pocket, the legend of our talk likely helped inspire Bram Stoker's Dracula. Granted, director Chris Bow's version of Our Talk is not your typical vampire. To quote reviewer Phil Hode, rather than sucking people's blood, Our Talk's quote, mere presence causes a hemorrhaging torrent of it. End quote. Source, The Guardian. 3. A Dark Song, 2016. Here's a welcome variation on the tried and true Irish horror formula. Rather than have a British guy move to an isolated house in Ireland, a dark song sees an Irish woman move to an isolated house in Britain, North Wales to be specific. The grieving Sophia Howard is on a mission to communicate with her dead son. She seeks the help of occultist Joseph Solomon, who leads Sophia in a bizarre months-long ritual to summon a guardian angel who can fulfill her wish. But is the occultist the real deal, or is he an opportunistic creeper? Or is he both? A Dark Song is director Liam Gavin's confidently moody first feature. To quote LA Times film critic Robert Abel, who continues, Gavin's specialties are emotional bitterness about the cruelty of the world, light-challenged atmospherics, Caho Waters' cinematography is evocative, and intense detail about the do's and don'ts of dark arts ceremonies. End quote. 2. Grabbers 2012. While the aforementioned Boys from County Hell is often touted as a breakthrough Irish horror comedy, Grabbers left its tentacle marks on the genre nearly a decade before. This creature feature sees guard Elisa Nolan accept a temporary assignment on a remote Irish island modeled after the Aran Islands of sweater fame. The gruffness of the locals is soon outshined by a greater threat. Whale corpses are inexplicably washing up on shore, and people are starting to go missing. The titular, tentacled, blood-sucking aliens are to blame, of course. Fortunately, the island residents have a silver bullet, alcohol. Turns out the grabbers avoid feasting on the blood of the inebriated as alcohol makes them sick. Writing for Empire, film critic Kim Newman dubbed grabbers a quote, near irresistible Friday night out monster picture in the tradition of Lake Placid or Tremors, with a boozy Irish charm that makes it a distinctive addition to the catalog of alien invasions, end quote. 1. Byzantium, 2012. The follow-up to his 2009 film on Dean, which FYI took the number six spot on my list of the top 10 live-action Irish mythology movies, director Neil Jordan's Byzantium stars Gemma Arterton as the centuries-old vampire Clara and Saoirse Ronan as her daughter and also centuries-old vampire Eleanor. The mother and daughter vampire duo take up residence at a run-down coastal resort called the Byzantium Hotel. Eleanor shares the story of her past, which we see in flashback with a local love interest. It's a story that begins with her mother Clara being forced into prostitution by a Royal Navy officer during the Napoleonic Wars. In the present day, a sort of league of extraordinary gentlemen vampires called the Brethren is hell-bent on destroying Eleanor, whom Clara was never supposed to have turned into a vampire in the first place. If you think a director could potentially struggle with a vampire story that bounces between horror and historical fiction and between the 19th century and the 21st, rest assured that Neil Jordan previously helmed 1994's Interview with the Vampire, arguably one of the greatest vampire films of all time, and certainly one of the hunkiest. I mean, come on, Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Christian Slater, and Antonio Banderas, and Irishman Stephen Ray. But I digress. Film critic Ian Buckwalter described Byzantium thusly for NPR. Quote, Moody, lush, and lurid, Jordan's film revels in the dangerous sensuality at the unbeating heart of the genre. So there you have it, my list of the top 10 Irish horror films. Which ones did I miss? Which ones should I have left off the list? 
sound off in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and hit the bell icon and basically just tap all of the little buttons and by the end of it, make sure you are subscribed to the Irish Myths channel. That really, really helps. And if you want to learn more about the darker side of Irish mythology, check out my recent videos on the Irish gods of death and the Jack Lantern's Irish origin. You can also grab a copy of my book, Samhain in Your Pocket, a tiny little book about the Celtic origins of Halloween. My name is I.E. Neverday, editor of the short story collection Neon Druid and creator of IrishMyths.com. Thanks for coming out.